or who is it best for if you want to buy one shoe for training and racing. I said this about the Tribuco Max, but frankly, I would almost pick this shoe. I would. And we're back. Come on now, A6. Fuji Light 2? What is this shoe? I, I This showed up, I don't know, six weeks ago. Thank you, A6, for sending it. I had no clue. I, no, I had no clue what to expect. I definitely have never ran in this lineup from A6. And I, I wasn't that excited, frankly. Coming out of the box, I was like, Fuji Light 2? I got never heard of this shoe. Frank, like, maybe I've... Seen it on their website. Bottom line, pleasantly, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Let's dive into it. A neutral tra Wow, twisting loosey goosey. There it is, doing the dance. It is twisting 100%. Four millimeter drop, so a lower stack height or lower drop. 30 in the heel, 26 in the forefoot. For more of that medium ish to hot, medium in the forefoot, uh, higher in the Heel, liking it a lot. Women's size eight, men's size nine on your screen. By the way, there is the mileage on your screen. I think we're, what, 36? Which, as I think many of you know at this point, now we are doing 25 miles and 2,500 feet of vertical gain and loss on the channel to qualify for trail shoes for a full review. So this is not my first impression vlog. This is not a relegation review. This is a trail shoe full review. Want to be very clear about that. Weight in my size, anything under nine ounces, let me just confirm, is solid for a training shoe. 8.8, 8.9 ounces in my size. Great work there. A6 score, 8.25 out of 10. Looking at an engineered mesh made out of recycled materials. Loving, actually, toe cap, epic. If you kick a rock, if you kick a, hopefully you don't trip, if you kick a rock or kick a root, you're not gonna feel it. It's just awesome. And then, you know, it happens to the best of us. Love the overlay through the toe box. One little drawback on the upper, I think there's just too much overlay in the heel. I think, you know, I think the weight of the shoe could come down just a little bit, just reduce the overlays. It just, it looks kind of cool, but I just don't know if this is all necessary here. Let's do the heel counter, pretty stout. Okay, lockdown score, standard, but that toe cap is, is, is built like a tank. There's the tank going across the screen, and then there is the hue counter tank as well. I like it, you know, it helps with the lockdown, or sorry, it helps with the fit of the shoe 100%. Let's just feel the inside here, yeah. Nice and padded, not plush, but nice and padded, and let's just see here for that heel, kind of a semi-gusset, semi rough, a little bit of a semi-gusset there toward the bottom. I will say on the tongue, there is a little basket there at the top to tuck your shoelaces into, which is actually kind of nice out there on the trails. Um, I believe the Asics Tribuco Max has this as well, but it says, remember the Tribuco Max? That was my drawback for that shoe, which I love the Tribuco Max up right hand corner, but it, um, the tongue like stuck out a, a bunch and I f could foresee like a bunch of rocks getting, not the case in the Fuji Light 2. Okay, there's the scores for the upper lockdown as well as overall decent breathability, not incredibly high, but decent breathe. A bit, I'm just, yeah, I mean, it's kind of, I'm not jump, not doing backflips for the upper, but it's it's okay. Uh, standard score is mostly overall. Midsole, it's a softer ride with some nice bounce. Can anybody say Nova Blast? Now, this is not a Nova Blast type of bounce, but it's 
it's not uh, for a trail. Sh that's what I was kind of feeling a little bit. Not a, not the same, but everyone loves the bounce of the Nova Blast. This is not a Nova Blast bounce. I just want to be clear, but it's 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 an Asics shoe. So you, I couldn't help but kind of maybe I maybe I was imagining it, but it, it felt nice. It felt the ride and energy return. There is my score, 8.25 out of 10. I was just impressed. I did, it kind of blew me. Let's do the durometer. It's just soft. It's soft, but not too soft. It's just perfect. Great job, Asics. Ah, and I didn't feel any rocks, you know? And I was running on some pretty, you know, pretty technical Colorado 14 or trail type terrain out there. Just love it. And the fact that the drop is a little lower and that stack height, especially through the forefoot, it just, you don't feel like the shoe is in control of your foot strike or your gait cycle. I just, I felt confident. I felt very, that's a great word. I felt very confident on the trails in the shoe. I really, really did everybody. So Asics Fuji Light 2, overall score for the midsole. Soak it in at eight out of 10. Oh man, outsole. I mean, okay, you know me in too much, you know, outsole rubber. This has a lot. You could probably lose a little bit there, but the, the tread pad, the tread pad, the lug depth, this, I would, I've just, again, confidence that, that I, there's no other word for it. Whether in your, you're in the mud, whether you're in loose gravel, whether you're in sand, I don't care what you, but, but, but the lugs are not crazy. Like the, you know, the Tribuco Max are a little deeper. You could commute in this. It wouldn't be my number one commuter shoe from the roads to the trails. Great job. Eight out of 10, Asics. Again, I just, I let, I really like this, this outsole. Uh, just a ton of, a ton of confidence out there uh, running, you know, upwards of uh, almost 40 miles in the shoe fit, true to size, no issues. Okay, comfort score. Uh, mostly, mostly I'll say because of the midsole, eight out of 10. Um, yeah, I wish I could give a little more credit to that upper, but it's, it's, it's mostly, which is, you know, frankly, a little more important to me to have a nice, you know, nice forgive, a little more on the forgiving side for the ride, just when you're running a high volume, high vertical gain out there in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Okay, here we go. Positives and drawbacks. Positive. Couldn't just pick one. I'm going weight and the energy return of that midsole. Drawback, um, maybe... <sighs> It, it, barely, but I, okay. Just a little bit of scrunching at the bottom of the eyelet chain. So maybe just cleaning up the eye, I don't know what, maybe a little, a little too much material. Maybe, yeah, maybe just a little too much material that material there at the bottom of the eyelet chain. A6, okay, there you go. Who is it best for? Um, I'm gonna, well, actually, how will I use this shoe? Tempo workouts, or who is it best for? If you wanna buy one shoe for training and racing. I said this about the Tribuco Max, but frankly, I would almost pick this shoe, I would, for a marathon on the trails or 50K on the trails, I would not hesitate at all to use the Fuji Light 2. It's light enough. Now, I, there are lighter options, don't get me wrong, but if you just wanna buy one shoe to do the training and the racing, it's like, it's, it's just because it's under nine ounces in my size. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's who it is best for. All right, price point. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I, I, I think, I'll, we'll confirm, but I think we're looking at $120. How is that even possible, Asics? Great job, $120. I mean, that's just unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I think they could charge more. I don't do it, but I think they could charge more. There is my score. Oh my, my other shoes to buy. You know, the Terex Speed Ultra from Adidas is lighter. Don't get me wrong, but it kind of has that same type of vibe to it a little bit. Um, it is lighter, uh, don't get me wrong, but man, gosh, that midsole. If you want a little more protection for your legs, your joints, I would go this guy over the Adidas Terex Speed Ultra. Terex Tiger 7, Evo Speed Go Torrent 2. Actually, wow, there you go. If I had to pick out of all those, I would say this is most similar to the Torrent 2. As far as ride and stack height, yeah, Torrent 2 from Hoka. All right, Asics Fuji Light 2. Shoe quick specs on your screen. I I'm really enjoying the four millimeter drop, gotta say. Engineered mesh, Asics grip rubber on that outsole, which I'm so excited about. Oh my, my. full review score, 
for a trail shoe out there. Oh, so close to the eight, 7.88 out of 10, not too shabby here in the basement here. I'm like, I, I can't, I just can't call it the studio. I can't call it the studio. It's like, it's too weird. So here in the basement for now, 7.88 out of 10. Okay, here we go. Thank you for watching. But before we sign off, comment of the day, question of the day being pulled from, I don't even remember, but shout out to a channel member, Lisa Runs Fast. Thank you, Lisa, for taking the time to comment. She's been a channel member for a long, long time now. Lisa says, I've had some past hiccups. Oh yeah, remember the question about your hiccups in your training? I've had some past hiccups, like too much Maffetone training made me uber slow, she says. I'm now following a great training plan that has improved my running by leaps and bounds. I'm slowly gaining speed back and realize that training really requires a lot of balance between easy and hard days. It's been a learning process. Lisa, it's music to my ears. Easy days easy, hard days hard. Maffetone, oh man, don't get me started. Don't get me started on Maffetone. Now, listen, if you're on the Maffetone plan, stick with it. See how it treats you, but man, I love the path you're going down, Lisa. Here we go. Um, question of the day. What TV show or YouTube channel, YouTube channel should exist that does not exist? What TV show or YouTube channel should exist that does not exist right now? Get creative. You know, oh man, that's going to be hard because there's a lot of YouTube channels out there. So whatever creativity you've got down in the... Oh man, you go, whether it's running related or not, I look forward to reading your answers down below in the comments. Onward and upward, come on now. All right, we'll throw it to the Tribuco Max. Another great trail shoe from ASICS in 20, ASICS coming on strong in 2021 in the trail department. Right here, right here, right here. All right, come on now, seek beauty, work hard and love each other. See you too tomorrow.